Hello everyone and welcome back to our FPS RPG series. We're in chapter 3, which is our inventory chapter. In the previous episode, we worked on adding the add to inventory function. In this episode, I want to do the query inventory function. So let's go up to the functions list in our inventory component and click new function. And we're going to call this one query inventory. And we want to check our inventory if we have a certain item and a certain number of that item. So do query inventory and do new parameter item. And that will be the item detail struct. And we also want to check the quantity we have. So what this is, how this is going to work is we're going to go cycle through our inventory, checking each slot and adding up the total of that item we currently have in that slot. So drag to inventory out and we'll do a for each loop with this. For each one, we're going to look at the array element and break that. And then we're going to split the item details here by right clicking and splitting. We then want to take the item we want to add here, so get item, and split that. Because we're checking the name here. So if the names match by using equals, we're going to then branch off from there and take the quantity and add it as a rolling total. So we're going to take quantity here, drag it out, and set to promote to local variable. And we call this one lock running quantity. And I say put that after the branch there. Okay, so that's running the local quantity there. Uh, however, we may run through this again and we need to add to that local quantity. So what we're going to do is we're going to drag lock running quantity out, which is get, then plus an integer. And we'll plug the quantity pin into that integer there and the result of that into the lock running quantity set instead because this is going to start at zero it's going to add the running total as it goes through then when this is completed we're going to come out of there and we're going to check if the item we've got here was found with the quantity now if the quantity that we're looking for lock running quantity is greater than zero it means we've found the item because you can't have an item in your slot and have none of it. So quantity is our uh, key thing we've got going on here. So drag your lock running quantity out and choose get. And we want to compare that with this quantity we're checking against. So what we're going to do is, is greater than or equal to the quantity. And if that is true, we're going to do a return node. In fact, don't, need to, don't even need to do a branch. We just do a return node with the output item found. And that'll be a Boolean. We can just plug that straight in like so. OK. Now, what we I've got here is it simply it's just going to run through, get the quantity, add it to a local running total, and keep doing that through the whole entire inventory. So if, if we have three slots containing the same item but different quantities of them, it's going to add those quantities together. If that is successful and we've added actually found some items, if it is greater than the quantity we're looking for, return true. So imagine we're looking for we want five of item A. If the local running quantity is 6 and the quantity is 5, that would turn true and we found the item correctly. If we didn't find the item, uh, this lock running quantity would be 0. If it's less than quantity, it means we found the item but we don't have the correct amount. And we can hit compile and we're done here. And there is your query inventory function. And that should just do it. Again, there may be some other functions, we, uh, other uh, things we need to add to this later on as we make stuff. But for now, this will work just fine. And that will do for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to watch the next part, you can head over to patreon.com forward slash Ryan Lely and donate just $1 to get access to all my videos before everyone else, including the next part in this series. Big thank you to everyone who has supported me either on Patreon or on YouTube members. 
If you have watched this and you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and leave a comment below if you have any questions or suggestions for future content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.